you guys, it's me, Nisi J. Today I'm coming to you with. Starting off with L'Oreal True Match and N7. N7 is a little bit darker than what I usually wear. I usually wear a W7, but I have a little tan, so I welcome the warmth of my skin. <laughs> I'm using this concealer as a base for my eyeshadow, so it actually will help my eyeshadow not crease. And this bronze I'm using as a transitional shade from my, you know, for my eyeshadow. And now this is an eyeshadow from Hard Candy. Um, this is really affordable palette, eyeshadow palette. And if you have not purchased any eyeshadows from Hard Candy, then you need to. This is really affordable and I love the colors. Check Hard Candy out. You can find it in Walmart and any drugstore as well. I'm going back in there with this champagne color and I'm patting it on because it reduces fallout. You know, eyeshadow fallout, so you, that's less you have to clean up off your skin. <laughs> so, like I said, all of these products are drugstore and affordable products. I always like to bring you products and items that will not break the bank. And I'm just going back in with that um, transitional color, that bronzer. And it's blending. I'm making a small wing, not a really big wing, just a really simple wing because I really want my eyeshadow to pop. That's what I really want to show. Seals that and a good way to make your um, lashes go on really easy to apply them is to make have them a little sticky so just blow them a little bit get them a little bit dry where they're a little tacky and they go on perfectly Now time for the concealer, and I'm using the Age Define Concealer. A lot of times I don't use any setting powder because it makes me crease really worse. And this is a good time also when concealing to actually um, clean up any mistakes with any fallout or anything that you want to actually, you know, clean up in your, in your eyeshadow area as well. contouring a lot of times when applying makeup um, your face is really flat so contouring actually brings out the features back into your face 
so your face won't look flat. So once you apply that foundation, if you notice, you just look blank almost. So now we're just bringing back the features into your face. Or your features back into your face. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Blend, blend, blend. It really looks like I am torturing my face, hitting it really hard, but I'm really not. <laughs> and what I'm using now is a setting powder from Black Opal. And right, I just want to actually define my cheekbones a little bit more. I just put it on very lightly and just to make my cheekbones pop out a little bit. And usually if you put too much blush on, you can always use a setting powder and apply that to tone it down. Now here's my favorite part, my highlighter. Pow! I love, love using highlighter. I will make myself sometimes look like, look like a crystal ball. <laughs> my favorite part. that same highlighter in my um, inner corners of my eye just to make me look a little bit more awake and I don't know the lip liner that I use but I know it's by Rim Rimmel London and I've, I've had it so long I don't it the name of it has rubbed off so but it is by Rimmel London and I'm gonna apply my lips my matte lipstick of course by Milani I love it love it love it and I'll make sure I go over the um, line the um, lip liner that I applied but this is basically it guys thank you so much for tuning in as always I love you guys so much if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already thank you so much for tuning in peace and love guys Mwah. Oh, 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 oh,